I'm working on a different topic today. I'm taking a break from working on the Camaro. My topic today, though, is uh, tro electric trolling motors and propellers. Um, I have a, a Chaparral a Ski and Fish H2O. Uh, it's a stern drive boat with a V6 in it. Uh, and it's a 21 footer, so it's a fairly heavy boat. I uh, don't remember the exact, it's like 3,500 pounds or so, 35, 36, when you get, you know, full tank of gas and gear in it. Um, what I have is a motor guide, came from the factory with a motor guide uh, XI5, uh, 80 pound motor, 24 volts, and uh, which incidentally recently I upgraded to uh, lithium ion batteries. Uh, the Battleborns to be specific, that um, uh, m mostly for uh, performance that you get, uh, I'll say duration, uh, you can run a lot longer you, on a lithium ion battery than you can on a lead acid even at the same amp hour capacity and the uh, lithium hold up longer. But that's a whole different topic. Uh, the topic today is, uh, since this is a fairly large boat for this size motor, it's pretty heavy. Uh, when you get out on larger water like, uh, uh, you know, Great Lakes um, and you get out in the wind, um, sometimes the performance isn't maybe everything that you'd like. It works pretty well, uh, but always room for improvement. And the motor came with one of these, which is a standard two-blade propeller. And I saw this ad not too long ago that Motor Guide came out with something they call this Katana uh, two-blade prop. And it looks like this one. And uh, they were making some pretty wild claims about it, that you know it would, your battery would last longer, uh, you could go faster, uh, you know, at, uh, speed for the same amount of power would be better, that the prop was that much more efficient. And uh, being the engineering type that I am, I went out with it. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a great day. Well, maybe it was a great day. Depends on your point of view. Um, it was the wind was running about 10 or 15 miles an hour. I was on a about a thousand acre lake. It was a pretty good sized lake. I had a little bit of break for some, from the shoreline, but you know, I was a quarter mile from the shoreline, so uh, pushing a pretty good wind. I mean, it was uh, um, starting to break white caps on the lake. So, but anyway, what I did was I drove the boat. Um, also, this motor I have installed the, the GPS uh, kit. So you can put it on a heading and it'll hold that heading pretty much to, uh, to, to the limit of its capability. So I started with the old prop. I headed off with about 45 degrees to the wind so that the the system wouldn't be hunting, it would always be running with kind of a, a relatively constant wind and, uh, and working against it. So I ran out in one direction, spun the boat around uh, and came back across using my uh, Lowrance uh, plotter, followed the same line back the other way. So I got the wind about 45 degrees off the bow going up and about 45 degrees off the stern coming back the other way. Um, ran a series of passes with this propeller. Um, then I took the motor inside the boat because I didn't want to lose the screws on the bottom and installed the new one and repeated that same set of runs. And I ran at, um, this one's got a handheld remote that you hang around your neck. Um, so by the number of times you hit the motor button, you get, it's got uh, 20 clicks. So 10 clicks would be halfway. In any case, I could very accurately set it at half power or at max power. So running the old motor, basically in the short, what I would say is the prop works and it works very nicely. And I got, I haven't crunched all the numbers, uh, but about 15 to 20 percent better speed at the same power setting. So at 50% power, I could run upwind 
I could run 1.2 to 1.4 miles per hour, about 1.3 average. When I put the new prop on, I could get 1.5 average, so that's two tenths of a mile per hour. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're only talking about one and a half, 1.3, you know, again, 15 or 20 percent speed for the same power level, um, really lets you lets you go. And at, at top speed, um, I went from about 2.3 going upwind to about 2.7 miles per hour going upwind and when I spun around and came back I went from 2.7 to about 3.1 so somewhere in the 10 to 20 percent performance range which means that for trolling and that you can cut the power back a little bit get the same speed out of it so it will um, so I got two things one is it's more efficient at trolling speeds so I can make the batteries last long and two is uh, if I needed to, if I had a, say, a problem with my engine and I had to make a run for home just on the motor, um, I'm going to get there faster. And to be able to get up into the wind and, and be close to three miles per hour is, uh, is, seems to be pretty doggone good. So, anyway, that's my report on boats for this week. So, just to add a few things in uh, I, and I'd give you some more detail, uh, these are the numbers that I was quoting from earlier in the video, and I thought I'd put them in a spreadsheet form and let you be able to take a look at it a little more uh, accurately. Um, I will point out this 3,600 pounds. Uh, certainly there are boats that are a lot heavier than 3,600 pounds, but from an electric trolling motor standpoint you know with an 80 pound motor i think 80 pounds works pretty well at 3600 pounds but i was um, referencing you know my past experience with electric trolling motors is on like you know i've got a 12 foot rowboat that you know weighs in at about 150 or 175 pounds and it's got a 55 pound thrust motor on it 12 volt motor and that really makes it scoot and it's very responsive uh you know at 3600 pounds with an 80 pound motor it just takes a little longer to get up to speed and to stabilize, but uh, but it's perfectly capable. Uh, it's just that uh, every bit of performance, I'll say, that you can have uh, improvement is a good thing. And so uh, I'll get into the numbers here and, and just talk a little bit. Uh, the range that I've got here, you know, when you're, uh, the course that I took was, I didn't measure it exactly, but it was probably a quarter to a half a mile long. I made sure that the boat was stabilized, but recognized that, you know, the, the, the waves were white capping and the boat's rocking and rolling. And so I tried my best to pick off the GPS the consistent highest numbers and the consistent lowest numbers. Uh, you might have gotten a bounce higher or lower, but that was really the range the boat was consistently running in. And, uh, and so average of about 1.3. So this is the factory two blade prop, 1.3. When you spun it around and had, the, had a partial uh, you know, tailwind, I got 1.75. And so, so you know, the precision is, is uh, to a tenth of a mile per hour with you know, a little bit of judgment baked in there. But it was very, very consistent. And, you know, I... When I made these uh, uh, changes and swapped the prop, you know, the, the pickup is, is very evident. So this is like averaging out all the errors. So I had 1.3 to 1.5. I had 1.75 to 1.9. So it's a little less than 0.2 or about 0.2. So 0.18 is the average or 11.5% improvement uh, under those kinds of conditions. And then... At full power, I was at 2.3, and I picked up 0.45. And when I spun around the other way, I went from 2.7 to 3.15, which is, again, about the same. Uh, you know, I've got a level of improvement of 0.45, or 18%. And to me, that was amazing improvement just from a propeller. And if this was a third-party design, I might be 
uh, concerned because I think you could just you could get more speed by just putting pitch in the prop and making it go faster and loading the motor down harder and there could be some risk to the motor and you'd uh, consume battery even faster because the motor's not running at its efficient point. Uh, from what I had read on this propeller, that was that Mercury Marine's propeller engineers uh, that normally would be working on gas motors uh, applied the same techniques to this propeller that they would use there. And, you know, I tried to optimize the flow over the blade. And it really seems like it's working, and I would say is I've run the boat in addition to this uh, in some other conditions now, and you can run for hours and hours and hours with these lithium batteries, and it uh, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem to be consuming battery any uh, higher than I would have expected before, and when you're trolling, uh, the ability to actually with this prop, you know if you're if you're running faster, you actually go back here and knock the power level down to get the same speed instead of, um, you know, instead of half power, uh, you know, t 10 out of 20, uh, I can back down and run eight out of 10 or, or uh, eight out of 20, you know, so it's, um, it's a pretty considerable gain and I'm really impressed with it. So, um, that's my, uh, explanations for today. If uh, you run on a motor guide, I'd highly recommend this one.